Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this train. This train is not my idea. I am a lady called Victoria Plum, I think her name is. Made this oh, a few years ago. If she's still got a channel. Um, when she made this she had twins and they were still tiny babies. So um yeah so that's a few years ago i think she still does have a channel but i can't remember anyway i'm going to show you how i made one similar to this i'm saying that because one i'm not doing the gingerbread men and the candy canes at the top or the candy canes on the side and this here i'm making a bit smaller because I think that's a bit silly. Um, on Victoria's, I don't think she had a big thing like this either. For some reason, I had the measurements for this box. And I don't know why I had it. So, or if it should have gone there. So I'm going to make that a bit smaller. The buffer, that's what it's called. Um, yeah. Right, I have made some things in advance, like these three undercarriage things. I've made two already, so because you don't need to see me make three. I've cut all the wheels out already. You need 12 wheels, and they measure... It's one and five. One and three-eighths, the black ones, and the silver measure three-quarters. You know, for the hubs, I know they're supposed to have tracks, but my wheels, my train's got hubs. I've also made one of these. I haven't decorated it. I've just made this. As you don't need to, me to show you how to make two. So I have all the wheels here. So there are all the wheels, which will stick on. What else have I made? Oh, I've cut out all the paper. I'm using a different paper. But I have wrote down so when I go to stick them out, I can tell you the measurements of them. Right, what else have I done? Right, the only things I'm going to show you how I made is one of these black things. The undercarriage bit. One of the carriages and obviously the boxes and then we'll stick them all together and decorate it so to get started we'll do the other carriage and get that out of the way this stands up quite nice like that and you fill it with sweeties which I thought was quite a nice decoration especially if you've got young kids but the one I'm making is more for just decoration it's not for a kid so, move that out of the way. Now, I'm not going to say exactly what cardstock you want. Go through every single bit. What I will do is just, when I go to score it, I will tell you the measurements and the scoring you need to do. So, we'll go through each bit at a time. And I need my book. tell me where to score and this is one of the first ones I made so I'll leave that there I'll bring up the score board oh, you can see that and my tool right so the first thing we're going to do is the undercarriage for the undercarriage you need three five and a quarter by five so you need three of these. Remember, I've already made two. So to make the undercarriages, you place this in. Let me get the right. What are they? Five and a quarter by five. 
place these in and we score at oh there it is on the five inch one across the top the five inch side you want to score this at half an inch and four and a half inches Ooh, jumped off you turn it round and you want to score at two inches two and a half inches this is not two and a half inches this is not working why ain't it working So it's two inches, two and a half inches, four and a half inches, and five inches. Right, with paper snips. All you got to do is cut it up the smallest top and bottom wedge them cut up and wedge do the same on this one cut up straight then wedge wedge this one Turn it round and wedge the small bit, the small margin you have here. Do the same here, wedge it and wedge it and cut that square right off, she says. Right, cut up and wedge. Cut up and wedge. Right, and that is what your undercarriage should look like. Like that. Now we need some a bone folder, and you want to burnish all your score lines. I never told you. I'm using basic black crumb cake and real red in this train. I have done so many of these in different colours. In fact, the one I did last, not last year, year before for me, I made one for myself, I did it in cream. Right, what we've got to do now is join it together. So on this thin bit, we're going to place glue. If you make this, you can use um, double-sided tape. I wouldn't use snail. It's not strong enough. Double-sided tape. Red liner tape. Right. What I do is push that down and fold that up to meet it. And then I rub it with my burn folder. And just 
keep rubbing it till it dries. And there we have it. Little box. So we just tuck these in. Where did I glue that there? Tuck that down and then just glue it shut. Tuck them in, push that down. Am I doing this right? Yeah. And glue it all shut and hold it all down until it sticks. And that is your undercarriage. All stuck down, I hope. That one's not. There we are. And you put that to one side. Next we're going to do the carriage that goes on top of it and for that you'll need two 8 by 8 and I'm using crumb cake and you'll need two of these. Here's the first one I've already done and stuck the undercarriage on. So I'll bring the scoreboard back up. And to score this, we're going to score this at two inches and six inches. And we're just going to turn it once and we're going to score it at three inches and five inches. Right. Hold it like that. With your paper snips, you want to keep your three inch score line and your five inch score line closest to you because you're going to cut up them. So we'll cut up the three inch and we're just going to do a tiny wedge, that's all. and a tiny wedge here, not a lot, just enough to fold it in. Same with the other side, you could just cut a wedge like I usually do. So we're doing two cuts. Turn it round and do the opposite ends, a tiny wedge either side of the score line. bone folder want to burnish all the score lines now that's it all burnished and this will sit up like this 
put that in, put that out, put that in. And that's how that was set up. So we will glue this in. So what we do is bring it over and bring one of the three inch or two inches they are, two across, three up. Then bring in the small tab. But before you bring that in, stick a little bit of glue on it. Just so it'll stick down. And then glue the other side. And bring that in and fold that down. And that's what it should look like. All nice and neat. And it's neat inside as well. Oh, there you are. So you've got no tab, it's all just one piece. Do the same the other side. Put a little bit of glue on your tab. And press it in. And then glue the side piece and fold that in place and then we have our carriage Quite easy project that. Now we need to stick that on there. So you can either glue all this or glue the carriage. I'll just glue the carriage. Just put it round. enough and stick that on there where's your bone folder rub it all down Now we have the second carriage all stuck on, and that's just got two carriage. Right. Next part is decorating these carriages. Now I have got four pieces of crumb cake at two and seven eighths by three and one and seven eighths. And they will sit on there. But first of all, I want to make them look like wood. I've also got four of these at one and seven eighths. No, that's two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. That's it. Two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. I've got four, one for each end of the carriageway. But first, we're going to stamp on them. I've got my hardwood stamp. I'm just going to leave it there. I've got some soft suede and I'm just going to ink the stamp up and right these ones you just lay them so that the wood will go across the way. And just rub them down. There you are. So the planks are going that way. One. Right. 
I should have done this before, but never mind. Two. I mean, you don't have to decorate it like this. If you're making one, you can decorate it any way you want. But this is the way I'm choosing to decorate it. Three. Last big piece. got the end bits to do so these that's the way they sit on the carriage like that but we want the wood to go that way so we need to turn them round and place them on I can only do two at a time so one moved. That's all right. And that's all right. We'll get our cloth and just clean the stamp. And put it away. Put the ink away. Right, we'll bring these back. And what we need to do is stick one on there and one on the other side. And, and you've got to do this before you stick your wheels on. I mean if you want you could have just stamped on the carriage but I'm adding these an extra layer of card to strengthen the carriages up made absolutely loads of these and people keep saying gonna make me a tray I didn't make any last year a year before I made at least I don't think I made any last year I can't remember but the year before I made about 10 and sold them all Right, that's one carriage done. There's 
Let this done. I know this video is going to be a long one because this does take time. I mean, I cut all this out yesterday, or the day before. I think it was the day before when I was going to film it yesterday, but didn't get round to doing it. So, uh, in fact, the day you get to see this, because I'm going to put it up, today is Friday the... 25th I think yeah it's the 25th day and I'm going to put this up you'll be seeing it on Wednesday the 30th right that is our wagons made all we need to do is add the little frill I'm going to put that on because that looks like snow so I'm going to put that on and the next thing we're going to do is add some wheels up there but we need to do some measuring to add the wheels so I've got a ruler and a pencil and all we're going to do is measure in from the edge going to measure in half an inch and half an inch want to do that on all four sides just so that your wheels are even then you want to measure up what did I say half of it measure up three quarters of an inch And mark it. Don't worry, your wheel will hold the mark. Hold the mark, hide the mark. So, three quarters of an inch, and mark it, and mark it. And then all we do is put that, where's my mark, there, and we glue half of the wheel, so just half of the wheel gets glued. Place the edge near that half inch mark and then your top near your three quarter inch mark just to make sure. Yep. And then press it down. Do the same. way need it go in there I don't see the mark And then we have two wheels on. So do the same this one. Place it on 
and that will go That's three quarters of an inch. It is. So that should go there. Like that. Oh, you can see what I'm doing. And then the same with this one. And just glue. And that is that's it. A nice little train standing on its wheels. All four wheels are touching the um, table. When I made the other one, I had to keep adjusting one of the wheels. It just would not. In fact, this one's not. So, that's it. Have to bring it down a bit more. That's better. Touching the pad. So we'll put that to one side and put the wheels on this one. So we'll do the same. Go in half an inch and then up three quarters. In half an inch, I say you've got to have patience to make one of these. It's not something you can just do real quick. So, grab a wheel and glue half of it. One of these wheels are out, measure it. Yeah, this one sits and that one doesn't, so move it up a little bit. That's it. Them two even. Right, grab another two wheels.
I swear. bait dry. Let's measure make sure the well that one's not. to stick on that line. There we are, another one done. I'll we'll leave the decorating of it until afterwards. Right, just stick the lid on my glue and take a little drink. Then we'll start the engine. So let's do the biggest one first. Right, this one is eight and a quarter by nine inches. So that's nine inches by eight and a quarter. And you only need one. Bring the scoreboard back in. Get my score tool. And on this, we're going to score. So we want it in portrait mode, which means the shortest edge along there, the longest bit going down, that's portrait mode. Well, that's what I call portrait mode. And we're going to score this at two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches. Turn it around once. And we're going to score this at 2 inches and 7 inches. Look. With the your snips, going to cut up the thin bit and wedge it, cut it off. Right, I've not cut that very well. That's better. Cut that off. Cookie! Whoa. My husband's snoring. I'd like to apologise for that. This afternoon nap time. Right, with these we just cut them up. All we do, no wedging or nothing, just cut them up the middle. And the other end as well.
Right, in the bone folder, I want to burnish all the score lines as normal. And then this way. And that's it. Now to get it into a box we want to put glue along there or double sided tape in your case. I find glue is a lot better. It makes the box stronger. Fold it over and bring this up to meet it. And just rub and rub till it meets off. That's it. And then these we just, where's the score line? There. So that's the back. Doesn't really matter. That's all we do with this. So I just pop a bit of glue in there, a bit of glue on there, and a bit of glue on there. Do the same on here, put that down, put a bottle. glue on there, glue on there, and a bit of glue on there. And that is the biggest bit of the engine. Right. We, I have cut out four pieces of white cardstock measuring four and seven eighths by one and seven eighths make sure these fit this, they do and then I cut out four um, DSP, this is a retired one, this is from can't remember this is a retired stat, uh, paper. On the other side, it had foils with numbers and candles and things. I think it was last year's paper. Anyway, you need four at four and three quarters by one and three quarters. So we will stick these on. Technically, you don't have to stick a whole one on one side. I'll show you in a minute. I don't think I did with the other, with the one I made. Yeah, on this side, I didn't, I just put a little bit there. I don't think you can see that there. But I've actually, when I've cut this one out, followed the whole instructions in the book. <laughs> I'm not making it up as I go along. Right. And then the, on the top we have 
think that one's yeah. <coughs> For this bit it's one and seven eighths by here it is. One and seven eighths by one and seven eighths square and the GSP is one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Part of our engine done. Don't need to do this bit. Right. Next one. I mean, if I was at home, I would have scored them all together. And so I've got this. Is that one? Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got three bits left to make. So you need one at eight and a quarter by seven and a half. <coughs> Bring up the scoreboard. Take that off. Eight and a quarter by seven and a half. So you want it at eight and a quarter by seven and a half. Eight and a quarter by seven and a half. Right, this is portrait, so this is the longest by the shortest, eight and a quarter, and you want to score this at two, four, six, eight, and this is exactly the same as the other one, and we're going to score this at two inches and five and a half inches. <coughs> and cut this exactly like we cut the last one so right up and cut the thin bit out and then just cut up your score lines to the first score line. Turn it round and do the same this side. I should have cottoned on and made one of these. Never mind. I think the other two are the same as well. Right. Burnish all your score lines. And glue it down. Then we just square it off and shut down our lids. Do the same this way. So put that down. Um, 
and there is the next one made. And now we want, oh, they're not for that. What have I got here? Yep. Right, we've got three of these. There they are. Now these measures two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Hopefully they're the wrong size. So what have I done wrong here? We'll have to decorate that one afterwards. I can put the top on, can I? Yep. I won't decorate that afterwards. We will. So what does that measure? Three and a half. So that should have been three and three eighths by one and seven eighths. Three and three eighths by one and seven. Let me get some paper. I've still got some more of this DSP and that is what was on the other side so three and three eights we want like my little mini trimmer got this free in um, Peterborough three and three eights by one a one and seven eighths there. That's fine. So I need three of these three and three eighths. Right. So my paper needs to be three and a quarter, three and a quarter, which is that one, by one and three quarters. There, isn't it? Do another one, two, one and three quarters, and by three. 
three and a quarter. And that's it. Handy little thing, this. We got some really nice stuff at Peterborough, all I did. Got some really great free stuff as well. Right, there's one, there's one, there's the other one. Just quickly stick these on. So these papers are three, and this is three and three eighths. And the paper is three and three eighths by one and seven eighths and the paper is three and a quarter by one and three quarter. What have I got in here? <laughs> Believe it or not, I've got it written in my book at that. So I don't know why I cut it. Wrong. So some stuff on my paper. That bit you don't need to glue because that bit is actually going to stick like that. So the very small box I've already made that will stick there, that's with the buffer on. So all we've got left to do is the little box at the top. So Oh, that little buffer box was five and a quarter by three and you scored it with the three across the top, you scored it at one inch and two inch and then turn it around with five and five quarters, you scored it at two inch, two and a half inch, four and a half inch. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what you do. Two inch, two and a half, four and a half, or five inch to get your little, to stick it down. Right, we've got a six and a half by four. And this is... Six and a half by four. But if I picked it up right. And we need... Put the lid on the glue for now and my score tool and this we're going to score at one inch and three inch. Turn it round and we're going to score it at one and a half, three inches, yeah. four and a half and six inches. Don't know what this one's for. What's this one for? Oh, this one I wasn't supposed to do, so ignore that. 
you want your four and a half by three inches and you're going to score that at one inch and two inch and then this you're going to score at one inch two inch three inch and four inch I think I've done this right yeah so this six by half uh, by four ignore they don't even fit there so I don't know why I've got this I know that was this one and I don't want that one that's what that was for so ignore that and we've now gone to the five and a quarter by three we've scored it out one and two and then we've scored it out one two three and four so that was that four and a quarter by three And this is just the little inch one at the top, this one here. And then just like the rest, cut up. out a little bit these and I can tell you now are too small where's my inch ones oh no these are foil because this is the funnel bit they need foil on which I will as you can see there's foil on this one and I haven't cut the foil so let me grab some foil and we'll cut some foil. Seven eighths of an inch, I want. Thank you. 
Right, so an eighth of an inch. One. Two. Three. Four. just have five little silver squares at seven eighths of an inch square makes me think I'm being good getting it all prepared I'm not doing that good a job on it There we are. That's that little one done. Right. I'm sorry about that. I have to turn that off. Someone come to the door. Right. Now then, um, where were we? Oh yeah, finishing this off. Right. Got the base. Got our big box we're going to stick there and we've got the second biggest box we're going to stick on there this box is going to go up there and then this little one is going to go on the front there so let's get sticking let's stick this box to that box to do is make sure the edges meet and hold it in place and put a little bit of pressure on it so it will glue. And then we need to stick it to this. So I am just going to glue this bit. Plenty of glue as you can see and then we just stick this on there and press it down And then this one we 
Very stick. Just there. See what I've done, stop that the wrong way, that's it. Oh well, that's gluing. I have two circles in silver and they measure two and three eighths and I'm just going to glue These are out of silver foil and I want it silver both sides. I don't know why because one side you're hardly going to see. But, and that will sit on there like that. Because that is the buffer. So. Should be stuck. Right next, we want to stick on, might as well stick on our little cube. And we just stick that in the middle of this box. for a minute or two while it sets. That's it. And now we've got to stick the wheels on this bit. So we go in half an inch in half an inch and then up three quarters oh. grab our wheels and stick them on Same with this one. A level. Let's see. Yeah, they're level. All right, do the same the other side. Just check now. Press the record button then. Half an inch.
three quarters of an inch. That one needs to go a fraction of an inch. No. Right, what have we got to do now? Oh, a window. I have cut out a window, but I've only cut out one window, and I'm sure this has two, it does. window all I've done is cut a piece of black at one and a half by two and a quarter and then a piece of silver foil at one and three eighths by two and one eighths and I just stuck that or I'll stick that Together. and I did cut maybe I didn't I'll go across there now what I'm done on this one I added a little black strip you know to make the window with the opening ah here it is I knew I had and a little black strip to go across the halfway mark Just glue that for a window. I will make another one. I haven't got any black card here. I haven't. I'll make another one off camera for the other side. So and that needs buffering up. Got a bit of glue on it. So
Just showing it up on my leggings. <laughs> so that is the engine done. Which you can't very well see like that, but... There's my engine. And the carriages. Now let's put some snow on the carriages. And I've also got for this one, I am going to put Merry Christmas along there on both sides. So I'll put the snow on first. I've got bits of the delicate lace. That's the wrong way. And we're just going to put them across the top. So I've got quite a few a bit cut. that off there. Not a bit of it. Nope. Nice long bit here. That trim trim very well. Good. Oh yeah. Let's just wrap that round. All I've done with this is I cut it out three times and stuck them together just to give it a bit of dimensional. And then this one will... on Big 
one here. Use this to wrap around as well. I have got a Merry Christmas for the other side. It's quite nice. Now then, if you put Merry Christmas, well, Merry Christmas that way, and the engine's going to be there, you can see Merry Christmas. But if the engine's going to be there, and you've got that side showing, we need to put Merry on that one and Christmas on that one. Just so it looks the same on both sides. You never know. They might put it on a walk around table. Christmas. Yeah. I think that was all I was going to do for that, wasn't it? Oh, I've got a window to do this side off camera. Which I will do. <clears throat> Just clean my windows. <laughs> you like that I hope I did an easy enough instructions for you to follow if you want to make it and all the sizes and everything 
or you're clever enough to work them out yourself, which I'm sure you are because, well, I say it's easy, but I've still got to look at my book. Well, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload. Which will usually are Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.